Hi everybody, it's Julie here and I hope you all have a really great Monday. I have a fun new process video, I think so anyway, and it's sort of, uh, and here I just show you what stamps I used for stamping the title, and the title is How to YouTube. Yeah, so I thought I was going to scrapbook this photo of me just editing a video and I thought it would be fun to to just document this journey I'm on with YouTube and I think it's really fun so I thought why not. So I'm going to make a really fun quote unquote YouTube on how I do my YouTube videos. So I'm using mostly the Pink Paisley C'est La Vie collection but also this green paper by Maggie Holmes. I don't know what it's called but I really like this sort of green. Um, when I first saw it in the 6x6 pad I was like I don't think I'm going to use that. But since I have bought this paper and I have used it quite a lot and I really like it. Imagine that. <laughs> the vellum piece that you can see, I tried to show you that in the beginning but I just didn't talk about it. I took one of the 6x6 papers from the Pink Paste de La Vie collection pad um, and put that on my uh, photocopy, my scan, you know, a 3-in-1. And I just put copy and then like scale it up. And uh... Yeah, so I have some printed vellum. So the journaling I typed on my typewriter, which means it's sort of imperfect because it doesn't type the full letters of my letters. Uh, so if you look closely on the photos, partly I have spelling mistakes uh, and partly the um, the like letter is not stamped out right. But I think it's really charming. So while I am going to finish the rest of putting the layout together, I thought I was going to read you my journaling. So this is how to YouTube. First, come up with an idea, preferably a brilliant one. Then, film it without mistakes or cutting wrong or spilling mists. It's not good. Photograph the amazing results in bright white and natural light. Import the film and photos to your computer. Wait for the film and photos to be imported. Edit photos edit video, record a voice over 73 times to make sure it's perfect, wait for the video to be saved, upload to YouTube, wait on the video to be uploaded on YouTube, write a blog post of your process and the result, go through the blog post, perfect spelling and grammar are key, link to everything and then it's done. So start over. <laughs> so that is my playful take on this YouTube process that I do and um, yeah so while I have been reading my journaling I see I have not gotten that far anyway <laughs> um, so these are the stuff I got in the scrubby haul I'm going to link that down below um, that glue is so amazing. It's really really nice uh, to have that fine chip and the multi match medium is a really great glue. So what I thought is I have these circles and I'm going to link them down below uh, or in the blog post. I'm going to link them in the blog post. Um, these wood looking circles are printed from, I found this on Pinterest and they're really good so I printed that on a bit like cardstock paper and I'm going to map that with these clear acetate tags from the collection pack, the ephemera pack, and they say play hard, work hard, and I'm going to re sort of use these in three places, so on the photo, below the journaling, and then in the title you can see there. So I'm going to go with an oval shape, and then I'm going to put down a start here, sort of arrow that I cut from one of the 6 by 6 papers. Then I'm going to do the same, I'm going to put some hot pink things there and I'm going to say um, stay focused because you you really do need to be focused when you do YouTube videos or anyway when you edit them. Uh, I have a really big, a big, <laughs> I have a really hard time with staying focused. <laughs> um, so yeah, so here I'm going to glue it down but then I realize it's better to pop it up, right? So then I'm looking for my pop it up things and decide you should do it on all of the things. You should pop up all the things. Yeah, I have been, I have taken sort of a break from my pop it up days, but now I'm sort of liking the popping up look. So um, I have used my pop it up things more. 
Uh, <laughs> yep. And I ordered some fun foam. Yes. So I can pop it up even more. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that. These are a bit more expensive than I, what I would like. Uh, I didn't pay for them, so it doesn't really matter. But the if I would have paid for them, they would have been more expensive. But they're really good. So I suppose that it's good. But on the other hand, I didn't pay for them, so it doesn't really matter now, does it? I didn't steal them. If that, if I'm giving you that impression, I didn't. Not this time, no. <laughs> so here I'm looking at what I want, and I decide that I want to use these clear uh, black and gold stickers. So I'm going to put some of these on each uh, cluster that I'm working on here. So this one says ignore the critics. I'm going to put that down there, and. I'm going to put a hashtag so true and up with the title I think I'm going to put start here which it is already say on above the arrow but I thought it sort of fits and then on the other on the photo cluster I'm just going to put this one has like five stars uh, I, I didn't find any word that fitted and I did a lot of word well, already in that cluster so and then I think I want to add pink uh, that hot pink on um, in all of the three places so I already have it below the title yeah that's me thinking about the hot pink and what I want to do is add some hot pink with the photos and such hot some hot pink <laughs> uh, with the title which turns out it's a bit tricky than I had imagined. So I'm going through the ephemera pack and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a little like cut apart tag piece pink uh, that says ignore the critics. So I have that on two places on the layout. Um, I don't really care I think it's more for me. It was more important to get that pink in there, and uh, because the pink really jumps up on this page. So, and I think uh, also as a YouTuber, you sort of really need to be uh, good with ignoring the critics. So, I'm also going to put out another one. Yeah, they are cut together. Or I'm going to cut them apart. I mean, so the other one is white with the hot pink text. It says "Break the rules." So I'm going to put that on the journaling cluster below there and then the other one below the work hard. So then I start to think, yeah, right, <laughs> I'm going to start to think what can I do above the, uh, the title and I found this one, I didn't like it, but I got with a brilliant idea. So I'm looking through the paper pad and I'm going to see if I captured this moment on tape. Oh yeah, I already have those. So what I de decide to do is to find one of the paper strips from a paper I already used. You see there? Yeah, perfect. So I'm going to use that little edge that I usually just throw away because I don't use it. But here it had that pink uh, edge on it. And I was like, so I'm just going to stamp my title on top of that and cut it into a little fish tail banner and staple that on top. And I was like. That is perfect. So there's not that much color on this page. We have some of the hot pink, very minimum, and then the green around the photo. But I think it just, I really like how this turned out. I think it's really funny if I, you ask me. And uh, yeah, so I hope you have liked this layout. The last thing I'm going to do, obviously, is splatter it some gold highly shine because you have to do that. It's one of the rules. I should really have put that in one of the rules. Yeah. But I suppose there's more scrapbooking rules than YouTube rules. Anyway, I hope you have liked this video. I think this is really funny and I would love to see if you have any special YouTube, how to YouTube rules or guidelines. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you will back on Wednesday for a new video by me. Bye!